Did you know that students can access the gradebook even when you've removed it from the course navigation? Whether you are new to Canvas or an experienced user, the gradebook can hold surprises that you'll want to be aware of. My name is Josh Rumpf, and I'm an instructional designer with the Center for Teaching Innovation here at Cornell. Faculty, admins, and TAs come to us all the time asking questions about grading in Canvas, and so I've got five important things to share with you about working in the Canvas gradebook. Number one, grades in Canvas are unpublished. The Canvas gradebook can be set to show all grades as they are entered into the gradebook, or it can be set to have grades released manually. Here at Cornell, grades have been set like other content in Canvas, so they have to be published. If you want to know what your students see, use Student View to access a sample student gradebook. Number two, sometimes you might want to display a letter grade for students' final grades rather than a numeric grade. While you can display a letter grade using a grading scheme, that grade will always be accompanied by a numeric value. Unfortunately, Canvas does not allow for the removal of this value. Number three, Canvas has a gradebook history. If you've ever mistakenly changed a grade in Canvas or sworn that you had given a student a different score, you'll be happy to know about gradebook history. Available from the grades page, you can see every change to all of your students' grades on each of their assignments. You can also see who made any changes, which is helpful if you have any TAs. Number four, missing entries can cause grading errors. Did you know that grades need to be entered into every cell of the gradebook for grading to calculate properly? If you have a dash in a cell, that assignment's not being counted towards or against that student. Instead of the student having 90 out of 100 points across 10 assignments, they now have 90 out of 90 points across nine assignments. To avoid this grading error and add grading clarity, use the apply score to ungraded feature. Number five, weighted grading is not set up in the gradebook. While you see the effects of weighted grading in the gradebook via the assignment group subtotal columns, the actual weighting structure does not live in the gradebook. Setting up assignment group weighting is done from the assignments page. Also of note here is that individual assignments cannot be weighted, but instead can be put in their own weighted assignment groups. And those are five things to know about Canvas gradebook. If you want to know more about these or other aspects of grading in Canvas, check out the links below or reach out to us at canvas at cornell.edu. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on our new videos. Thank you for watching, and until next time, let's all keep learning.